This is a tutorial for the Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video we will cover pressure zones. One of the fun things about the map DM Pressure is the pressure zone. So if you're not familiar, I'm just going to show a quick video of it in the game. So a couple things to note from that video. Number one, if you activate the pressure zone, you get credited for the kill. And number two, if you're inside the pressure zone in order to grab the shield belt, a bot is able to shoot the trigger and trap you inside and kill you. So let's go through this step by step. First thing you will need is a sealed room. So if I go into zone portal view, see how it changes color? That means that inside is a sealed zone. Now next, what they have is a door. So the door is underneath, there it is there. That's a mover that its resting position is under the floor and then when the door is activated, this thing will move up and close it. So it looks as if the door is sealing the room, but it's not. It's this zone portal that's actually sealing the room. And there's another one here too, because there's a window. So you can see here another zone portal here. And another zone portal here. So these zone portals are completely sealing this room. And the next thing you need is the actual pressure zone, which is here. And we'll get into the properties. And now for the bots to shoot it, you will need two things. This is a normal trigger, as you can see. And this is the thing that teaches the bots to shoot that trigger. So if I click on this, it's called a trap springer. And so this springer is connected to this trigger and this trigger is connected to this door and this door is connected to this pressure zone. So it's a whole bunch of different items that combine to make this pressure zone. Finally, when the pressure zone is activated, it will also activate these special events. And these special events are merely playing a sound, and there's a whole bunch of these special events throughout the map. So this is a bonus feature. You don't need it for your pressure zone, but this adds to the immersion of the level. So let's take a look at a very simple example first so you can get started on building your own pressure zone and then we'll add a couple of notes afterwards. So I'm back in my builder room and as you know I already have a bunch of these square rooms and as you can see here I have one zone portal there to block off the doorway and I have one zone portal here to block off the window. So this is just to show you it's not a full window. It doesn't have a piece of uh, glass in there to block players, but just to show you that this is similar to what they did in pressure. So you have one zone portal here, one zone portal here, and if I go into zone view, you can see that it's a different color. So let's do the very, very basics. At the very minimum, you will need a pressure zone. And let me open up the properties here. These are the attributes that you can adjust. 
So the die draw scale, which I just copied from DM pressure is 1.25. So you can decide the draw scale and play around with that. This is important, the die fatness. Again, I took the number 255, which is the maximum, and 255 is how fat your player gets when he's being pressurized, so that's pretty fun. This is the die FOV. Again, I got 165 from pressure. It is your field of view, so you can make this a more narrow field of view or a wider field of view, that's up to you. You can play around with that. And then kill time, which here I put six seconds, but in the pressure map, it's at actually at eight seconds, so it's a bit longer. Then this is the most important thing. You need a tag. And here I just called it the same as in pressure. It's called da pressure zone. You can make this any tag you want to, but it's key to remember that your trigger needs to trigger that zone. So the event of the trigger must match the tag here. So in my first example, I'm just going to put a regular shootable trigger outside the door. So if you take a look here under trigger, you will see, first of all, this is important. It's got to be, you got to change this to TT shoot, which means that the player has to shoot the trigger. You also need to add a value here, which is called repeat trigger time. So here I put nine seconds, which means you can only shoot this trigger every nine seconds. Then here, as I mentioned, the event of this trigger is da pressure zone, and it matches the tag of the pressure zone. So this is all you need to make your own pressure zone. You don't have to build one as complicated as the one in the pressure map. And I put in a Nally right here. So that's from the actor browser, pawn, scripted pawn, Nally Priest. So I just put that in there so that you can see the effect of the pressure zone. Now let's take a look at this in the game. So there is the sealed room, which is here. And you can see the glass, which is actually there's it's not a real glass, but I just did it to show you that a zone portal can look like that. And now when I shoot, actually let me, uh, I'm going to shoot the trigger, which is right here. And then we're going to look at it through the window. First blood. And as you can see, I get a credit for the kill. Now the second part is to make it a little more interesting is this door. So just like in the pressure map, there is a door that starts at the bottom and then comes up and closes this room. So here what you need to be aware of is that the event of this mover, which is da pressure zone, that'll match the tag of the pressure zone. And then this piece, which is the tag of this mover is called trap door. That's gonna be activated by a shootable trigger. The next thing you need to know is, well, you just put some sounds, which I got from the doors modern package. Here, this is the only time that I use crush when encroach for this mover. So if a player is trapped in there, they're going to get crushed if they touch the door. And this time, the stay open time is quite long because it's when the door is closed. So I put it at 8 seconds. And under object initial state, you have to change this to trigger open timed. So instead of using this basic trigger, which is basically you shoot it and it activates the zone, we're changing it up a bit so that we have this trigger right here. You'll shoot this trigger 
I'll just open up the properties so you can take a look at that. This is a shootable trigger. You can only trigger it every nine seconds. And the event is the trapdoor. So when you shoot this trigger, it's going to trigger this door. This door is going to move up to here, and then it's going to activate this pressure zone. So there's my Nally Priest in there, and the trigger was approximately here, so that I can look at it through the window. First Blood! So that's how they do it in DM Pressure. Now let's take a look at the Trap Springer. So to summarize what we have so far, we have a sealed room, which is here, as you can see, it's a different color. We have a sealed room. We have the door, the trap door that's underneath, which is this one. This trap door activates the pressure zone, which is in here. And these are the attributes that I showed you. And here is the event tag, the pressure zone. And now let's show you the trap springer, which is over here on this side. So the bot needs to know that if they shoot this trigger and the player is inside, they will get credited for the kill. So all you need to do is grab a trap springer. Let me show you how to get that. You go to actor browser, inventory, trap springer. So that's where it is. And the reason why it's an inventory is because it's something that a bot is motivated to grab, such as a weapon or a health. So that's why it's a subclass of inventory as opposed to a subclass of trigger. So here's the trap springer. Right click on it to view the properties. And this is very simple. First, you tell the bot that it's a shootable trap springer, so that's true. Then the trap tag is for the door, which is called, in this case, it's called disfat. This is the event of the mover, the trap door. And the trigger tag is, in this case, trig B, and that matches this here. So if you look at this trigger, this is trig B. So that trap springer is connected to this trigger, and this trigger is connected to this fat, which is the mover. And then the mover is connected to the pressure zone. And the final piece here, Again, these are all extra goodies, but right there is a button. So this button is also a mover, and the mover will move in into the wall like this to show that the zone is being activated. This is not necessary. It's just a nice little piece of immersion for you to add. So you have a trap springer and the trigger and the mover. The mover will shut the room and it will activate this pressure zone and it will also activate these special events that are placed throughout the map. So if I right click, here's a special event. This, by the way, is a subclass of trigger. You come down here and it says the special event is a sound. And here's the sound. And you also need to change this, which is object, initial state, play sound effect. So you need this piece plus the sound. And let me play the sound for you. It's from pan one. Warning, depressurization commencing. So these special events are placed throughout the map and will tell any player that's playing in the game that the pressure zone has been activated. And there is also a smoke generator, which I showed you in a previous tutorial, which I will link. This is a smoke generator. And this also has the same tag 
this fat. So this will start puffing smoke when the trap is activated. And here you can determine the size of the puffs, whether it's repeating, how many puffs total before it stops puffing, and all of this you can adjust as well. So that's another little nice effect you can add. And then finally, when you come into the pressure zone, you will hear this hissing noise like steam. And there's a trick for that because steam is a unending sound. So you need a way to end the sound basically, because you only need to have it while the pressure zone is being activated. So the trick is there's a little tiny hidden mover right inside. You can't see it. The player cannot see it. And so if I right click on this mover, this is where you get your hissing noise. So go to ambient modern. That is the looping sound for this mover. So the cool thing about this is that normally with a looping sound, you can't stop it. So the tricky way of stopping it is by making it a mover. And this way you'll have only four seconds of that steam sound. Well, four seconds to move it open, four seconds to move it closed. So a total of eight seconds for this sound. And I believe that eight seconds is this. Yeah, it's the move time. So that steam plays for exactly eight seconds, which is the same amount of time as the door, the trap door. So these are all the ingredients you need to make the pressure zone in DM pressure. And as one final thing that I want to show you, is when you're opening this map, obviously it's going to be hard to find everything that I showed you. So come up here to the top toolbar. You will see these little binoculars here and it's called search for actors. So all I have to do is click on that. Let me delete that. Remember the tag was called disfat. So this will show you all of the actors and brushes that are connected to this particular tag. So there's the smoke generator that I talked about. It's also got the door, which I think is this one. It also has two buttons on the outside. And these four are invisible, not invisible, but hidden movers that play the steam sound. So if I delete that, put in da pressure zone you can see that you have the pressure zone is what i showed you but also all of these special events that play the sound throughout the map so use this it's a very handy little tool